Hey guys, welcome back to Steady Christ. I'm Shar, and I have decided to provide a flip through for you all of any books that I have read through on my own off of camera, and maybe even showcase the before and after or going through with the books that we are actually going to read as well. But before I had concluded that I am going to uh, have a channel surrounding how I run through the Bible and study it and note take it and read along with you all. I was doing First Thessalonians. I always pick a book in each of my Bibles for accountability purposes so that they're just not just sitting there collecting dust. So each Bible I have provided a sticky note. And on the sticky note, I put a New Testament and an Old Testament book that I set out to read through and for accountability purposes I put the dates in which I started which here I didn't put a start date um, like a specific date in June but I made sure to put one here and um, the goal was to try to finish in August but <sighs> things were happening but I give myself grace because a lot has taken place but God is still good and you press on but anyway so first Thessalonians was the book and then Exodus, but we all know now that we have decided and concluded we're going to go through Genesis together and that's going to be my Old Testament book. If I decide to change that, I will let you guys know. But for right now, Genesis is what's going to be and I'm actually going to go through that with you all. So let's go through first Thessalonians. This is in the NIV Jesus Bible tools that I've used very simple and to the point these came from five and below they are watercolor fine liners so they are not too heavy i mean you see little bits and pieces through the paper but not enough to bother me and of course it depends on how hard and soft you bear down but this is a 36 count i believe and again it came from five and below and this is what i primarily use in this particular bible there are some fine liners that i got from dollar tree that aren't on my desk but they are more so for when i am on the go so i would take them to me like if i went to the park to the library or anywhere else i would grab those but these here stay on my desk so that's what you see right here and of course the concept and the theme of this particular desk was vibrant in color however that has kind of simmer it down because um, my desk had to be pushed more so over this way and things just changed. I had to eliminate a lot of things and I had to keep this desk at a minimum in case I have to move again. So, but my uh, products and my items on my desk, there are still some hints of color. I have my flags. I have my to-do list. <laughs> Everything else is pretty much black or white in the course of this Bible. So this helps engage here because it's like this is the most vibrant thing here and it will help me to be attentive and pay attention. But anyway, so in the beginning, it was a slow process. I was like, hmm, should I go back my old way in my other Bible, which I'm just underlining per sentence? Or should I just do like a few brackets and things? And then finally I set in to this system which I mention in every video, but I'm going to always mention because new people come on all the time. Circle is for subject, bracket is for a key point or phrase, um, underline is verb or action, two lines is emphasis, a, a rectangle square is defined and that's like around the text, um, squiggly line is description or descriptive, and of course, this is what I have to go back and do in just a moment. And that's underline, I mean, highlight. Highlight when I have read the passage. Memorize verse is heart. So that's what either I want to memorize or I've already memorized the scripture. And the check mark is the study passage, which I need to do that too. So, not quite, quite done, but for the most part. So, I went through my guide. If you need to pause and write that down or focus on that so you can understand what happened here, by all means do so. But in this particular Bible as well, sticky notes are only absolutely necessary. So as long as if I have a space or opportunity, I'm going to write and fill in. And then if not, 
then I will use the sticky notes. But here's uh, chapter one in part of two, part of two, three, and four. As you can see, there are not many or there, the chapters aren't lengthy, but it did take me a while to go through reading it and note taking it. So it takes longer, but it's more rewarding because you actually have to reread the passage at least twice and you have to take time to understand and research as you go. So it kind of helps you to help the information to stick just like in school. All right, so chapter three, chapter four, and then chapter five, First Thessalonians only has five chapters. Now I would say this is a used Bible. So when you see things are, are highlighted like that, I did not do that. I did do this, I didn't do that. Um, Cause this is my system to um, the sub -head headings of the chapters is what I intend to highlight on my own. And I also need to check them off because I studied them. I must admit for anyone that's watching and wants to adapt or adopt to this process that I'm showing you all, one of my flaws and one of my downfalls is that I get so anxious about studying through that sometimes I don't read through first. For example, as this is a passage right here, the goal should have been to read verses 13 through 18, then come back and do this um, note-taking system. But there's been plenty of times where I failed to be disciplined and I was so anxious to do this because this is fun, this is creative. But at the end of the day, what good is any of this if you don't comprehend, you don't understand, you don't remember? So remember that. But yes, yeah, that is the end of First Thessalonians. Um, I'm considering reading Second Thessalonians on my own. And again, I know for sure for the books that I am studying and reading through off camera, I'm going to show you guys a flip through. And when we're reading through these together, you're going to see the process as it go. And then if I remember when I'm done with that book, I will come back and show the flip through. So yeah, I have a lot of work to do, but it's good work. And when I'm busy in here, less anxiety and stress and depression is going on for sure because I'm putting my mind and my energy into this. So if you are like me where you may have um, some similarities to those who have ADD or ADHD or autistic or um, anxiety, try adding or try figuring out what study method will work best for you. Um, maybe less is more for you, where maybe your world is so chaotic and busy that when you come here, you want it to be as simple as possible. I understand that. My husband's like that. Uh, for me, I like having the control of studying and annotating as I want. So this actually brings me peace. It actually calms me down, the reverse. But you figure that out on your own and please pray about it. But yeah, that was my flip through of First Thessalonians. Comment below if, this, if you want to see more videos like this. And obviously stay tuned because we're going to work through Genesis 1 together. So love you. Take care. Bye.